In this video, we're diving into the innovative world of a new contender in air mobility, Hyundai's Supernal AS2. This video is also part of our series where we explore the cutting-edge electric aircraft by reviewing their patents and giving you insider insights. Over the years, battery-powered urban air mobility vehicles have converged on a standard design. Most have high wings, typically seat five people, including the pilot, and use a combination of tilting and lift-only propellers. The Joby S4 is unique in that all six of its rotors tilt, but overall these designs follow a familiar template. They carry about 450 kilograms of payload with a maximum takeoff weight of around 2,400 kilograms and offer a range of 100 miles or 160 kilometers all shaped by the current battery limitations. Despite these similarities, there's always room for improvement. Enter Hyundai's Supernal AS2. Like many UAM aircraft or urban air mobility aircraft, the Supernal AS2 features eight rotors. However, its key innovation is the fact that while all eight rotors tilt, four of them tilt downwards. This unique design not only boosts efficiency during the climb phase, but also tackles several engineering challenges at once. So how exactly do downwards tilting rotors help? Let's explore this in more detail. The original concept for the Supernal was similar to other UAM designs, eight rotors with four tilting and four fixed in a staggered arrangement. But Hyundai soon realized that lift-only rotors, while simple, had their drawbacks. In cruise mode, they become deadweight and create extra drag. Typically, these propellers are fixed pitch with two blades to save weight and are aligned with the flight direction to minimize drag. It is the solution used by Archer Aviation's Midnight and Vertical Aerospace's VX4, but two-bladed rotors reduce efficiency and increase vibration. Other design like Whisk Arrow's Generation 6 and City Airbus Next Gen opted for four-bladed lift-only rotors to increase efficiency, but at the cost of higher weight and drag. It seems like compromise was unavoidable until the second iteration of Supernal's design, the AS2, came along. The all-tilting rotor configuration eliminates the need for such trade-offs like choosing between weight and drag penalties. It also creates a push-pull configuration in cruise mode, which helps to counteract the adverse yaw and roll characteristics. Additionally, this design reduces drag in cruise by aligning the propellers in line rather than having them placed separately. Interestingly, the question of whether upward or downward facing rotors are better for hovering has long been examined. When quadcopter drones became popular, many use the upward facing puller rotors. These offer better ground clearance, meaning less risk of debris hitting the rotors from the downwash. However, the disadvantage is that the rotor wash splashes onto the rotor arms thus reducing lift. Having said that, the drone manufacturer Ehang developed the Ghost Drone with downward facing rotors. This configuration increased the thrust by about 15% compared to the puller rotors, though it also generated more drag during horizontal flight. This is why upward facing rotors are still preferable for fast moving drones. In the Supernal AS2, downward facing propellers assist during vertical flight modes, reducing the power required. When in forward flight, these rotors tilt to become perpendicular to the direction of travel. It's worth noting that the Kitty Hawk Heaviside, one of the most efficient eVTOL aircraft, was the earliest model to demonstrate a 100 mile range. All of its lifting rotors tilted downwards, which also enhanced wing lift during hovering. The Supernal AS2 applies the same principle with its wing benefiting from the lift generated by the downwash from the downward facing rotors. Supernal also benefits from Hyundai's extensive experience in developing battery packs for electric vehicles. Backed by an automotive giant, the AS2 brings a fresh perspective to the UAM market. 
Another standout feature of this aircraft is its aviation-grade energy-absorbing seat frames designed to enhance the safety in the event of a crash while maintaining a minimalist, clear design. The fuselage shape is inspired by insects. The Supernal has also submitted patents for aircraft lighting that will indicate vertical takeoff or landing, adding another layer of innovation to its design. We are excited to see how this groundbreaking aircraft will push the industry forward. And with this, the video is concluded. If you found this information useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your kind attention.